Hi, I'm Turquoise Blue. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm stuffing my cash envelopes for my second paycheck in February. And I'll be adding $150 for my cash expenses for the next two weeks. I withdrew five $10 bills and five $20 bills for a total of $150. And the breakdown, I went ahead and pre-wrote what I would be um, adding to the envelopes and also what currently remains in the envelopes so we can get through this a little bit faster. So let's get to saving and stuffing. My first cash envelope is Groceries. Groceries previously had $80. I spent the entire $80 and I will be adding $80 to this envelope. So 20, 40, 60, 80. Next is dining out. Dining out originally had 10, I spent five. So there's $5 remaining in here. This $5 is going to overflow. And um, as I previously talked about in my other video, I do not keep the remaining balance in the envelope. I deposit the um, total amount for the week back into the envelope and I put whatever's in there in overflow. I didn't specifically talk about my reason for doing that before, but my reason that I'm choosing to do the overflow this way is because it's helping me to develop the habit of setting aside a specific amount of money every pay period. And it's also a way for me to accumulate more cash for my sinking funds, which will help me to reach my sinking fund goals for the year. And it also helps me to meet my challenges. So I'd rather have the money in overflow and use that to fill in the gaps in my challenges and my sinking funds than to continue to have it in the envelope. And I also want to develop the habit of saving a specific amount every pay period. So getting back to dining out, I put the $5 in overflow and it gets 10. So I'm going to add 10 into the envelope. Next is gas and gas gets 20, but I have 20 in here. I'm going to go against what I just told you and I'll explain why. So I'm going to keep the 20 that's in the envelope in this envelope and I'm going to add another 20 to it. And the reason I'm doing this is because I'm low on gas and I want to fill up my tank. So gas has 40. Next is tips and tips has $10 and tips normally gets $10 because there's 10 already in here. I'm going to take the 10 that would normally go to tips and put it in the overflow. Recently, there haven't been a lot of opportunities for me to use cash for tips, honestly, but I did have an opportunity uh, just the other day. I had to get someone to come out and um, provide roadside assistance for me. So, after he was done with his service, I told him to hold on a second. And I ran to get my envelope and I was going to give him the $10 inside thinking, you know, hey, he could get lunch or something. But he took off. And I was wondering if certain people in service professions don't expect to get tips. And I've had other situations where I've attempted to give people money for helping me out. And um, they were either like completely surprised or... They say that, that people don't normally give them anything. And, you know, that's unfortunate. I even had gutters installed a few months ago. And when they were done, they didn't even let me know that they had finished the service. They just installed the gutters and they left. And when the rep from the company called me to ask me about the service, and I was telling her that I was happy with the job they did and that 
I was happy because I actually ended up not having to pay as much as I thought I was going to pay. And I had put money aside. I was going to pay for the entire crew to go and have lunch. But when I looked outside, they had just disappeared. So I'm not sure if people in certain professions just don't get tips or if they don't expect tips from certain types of people, um, from certain backgrounds, or they assume that you have a certain type of income and that you will not tip them. You guys comment and let me know what your experiences are with either receiving tips or giving tips, or if sometimes you find that you're just not able to tip people even when you want to, let me know. So tips will keep $10 and 10 went to overflow. Next is personal care and personal care had 10. I spent the whole 10, so I'm gonna put another 10 back in there. And my envelope. Of course, I spent it all. I spent the whole 20, so I'm gonna put 20 back in there. Y'all, I forgot to do my totals. So this segment is being inserted in so you can see what I actually did and what was left over and where everything went. Forgive me. So adding up what was left in the envelopes, 5, 20, and 10 is $35. $20 of that we kept in the envelope. So that actually went toward the cash envelope balance. So we added 80 for groceries. 10 for dining out. The gas envelope will have $40. Tips keeps 10 and 10 will be going to the overflow. Personal care gets 10 and I getting 20. So this is actually a total of $170 in the cash envelopes for the next two weeks. Subtracting the 20 that went toward gas, these $15, which is going to the overflow. My cash envelopes for the next two weeks have been successfully stuffed. Thank you all for watching. And thank you for showing your support and encouragement by liking my videos and leaving me comments. I really do appreciate it. And as I always say, I wish you all prosperous and abundant living. Take care.